Hi, this is Brian with MWater. This lesson is going to cover signing in to the MWater Surveyor app, the terms of service and privacy policy, and signing in to an existing user account. Let's get started. The home page includes a language selector at the top where you can change the language of the app interface. It has the MWater logo. You will see a section to enter in your username, your password, and also at the bottom to sign up. If you click sign up, this will create a new user account. You can use your Google or Facebook account to link to your MWater account. Alternatively, you can simply use an email. I'm going to make an example. My name is John Doe, for example. I enter in a username, which is Don John Doe. I usually prefer to have a space between my names because then it'll be easier to search for me. I can enter in my password. Please enter in your email. and your employer. This is an optional field, so you don't have to do it. Please confirm that you are over 13 years of age and click the sign up button. This will create a new account with the username John Doe, with the password that you typed in, and the email address john at gmail.com. I don't want to create a new account right now, so I'm going to click cancel. As I said previously, you can always reset your password at any time. In order to do so, enter in your username or email at the top. And click Forgot Password. This will send a notification to your email address to reset your password. Click OK and go to your email address and open up the email that it sent you. In your email inbox, click on the email sent to you by MWater and set your new password. You will also see the Terms of Service button at the bottom. This will show you the Terms of Service for using the MWater Surveyor app. In addition to Terms of Service, you will see the Privacy Policy. The MWater Privacy Policy outlines all the data that MWater collects, why it collects it, and what it does with this information. An important note is that MWater is GDPR compliant. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Now I'm going to be signing in under an example user account. When I'm doing this, it's important to remember that usernames are case sensitive. So if I sign up with a username, uh, example user2, with a capital E, I have to capitalize the E in example every time I sign in. You can always change this later, but just make sure that the username that you type in here matches exactly the username that you use to sign up. Now I'm going to type in my password in the space below. Once I click Login, the app will authenticate the username and password with the MWater Surveyor. This means that the device must have an internet connection any time that the user signs out and signs back in again. Once you've logged in under an account, you will see Login as Example User 2 successful at the top. This page allows the user to choose which configuration of the app they will be using. 99% of users use the standard user configuration. Some organizations require a custom interface which is streamlined for their workflow. These custom configurations are paid services provided by MWater. If you're interested in this for your organization, please contact info at mwater.co. Below the configuration list, you will see a section entitled, Don't see your customized version listed? This section will allow users to type in an invite code which will automatically add them to a specific organizational group. Once they are part of the group, they may join any of the custom configs that that organization has available. If you want to go back and sign in under a different user, click the Login as Different User button. We're going to sign in as the standard user configuration. 
Okay, now that we've reached the MWater Surveyor homepage, this concludes this lesson. We've covered in this lesson signing up for an MWater user account, resetting the account's password, the terms of service and privacy policy, and signing in to an existing user account. Thank you for watching.